So when we were in Kiev in July, we saw diesel generators dotted all over the city. They were standing in front of restaurants, shops, pharmacies, and it's these diesel generators that have allowed these businesses to stay open. Since the spring, Russia has been targeting Ukraine's critical civilian and energy infrastructure, using missiles and drones to carry out a spate of massive attacks. This has taken out a tremendous amount of generation capacity and has resulted in rolling blackouts across the country, with many citizens having access to roughly four hours a day of electricity. Even when it's not front page news, these attacks are happening on a daily basis. This means constant repair, constant reconstruction of Ukraine's energy assets. To ensure that Ukrainian citizens and businesses have access to reliable supplies of electricity, Ukraine is aiming to develop a more decentralized energy system. This means fewer big power plants that are much easier to target and to attack, and significantly more solar panels, batteries, mobile gas turbines dotted across the country that are much, much harder to target. And this is one of the key areas where the IEA is working to support Ukraine's energy sector. The IEA has been working with Ukraine for over 15 years, but that work and support has really ramped up since 2022, when in the wake of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, it became the IEA's 11th association country. These trips that we do to Kyiv are a way for the IEA to get a better understanding of Ukraine's priorities and challenges. Ukraine is facing a substantial power generation capacity deficit going into this winter. And it is going to be of the utmost importance, not only to bring as much supply back online as possible, but also to think really hard about how you manage demand. And these are both issues that the IEA is actively helping Ukraine address through both bilateral support and in-depth analysis. <laughs>